sunshine and some good mood. I don't you know, know why. It's not. It's not a big deal. Remember, he you talks. Snatch? A, you, you snatch? No, no, he talks a lot from previous. Hmm. So when we're in the same area, there's always going to be a bit of um, bad blood. So he kept on talking. So where we're from, or some people with that type of mindset, would just approach the person and say, "Shut him out." Oh, yeah, come yeah, out yeah. the toilet. I slipped off. Wow! wow. No, 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 no. I just slipped off. <laughs> and I went to look for it. <laughs> really? Yeah, but you know what it is? It's hard because as much as we like, uh, like I'm a good guy. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not a bully. But I think you'll always give as good as you can get. So um, you push someone, you keep on poking someone. They're gonna. They're gonna retaliate soon or later. And that's what it was, bro. Nah, it wasn't. It's not like it's some stage WWE thing. Nah, nah, nah. Because Eddie Hearn said it's a he, No, he's a heavyweight, yeah. so you have to take... Honestly, I would consider any heavyweight, but Miller ain't on my radar. Povetkin, Wilder, I'd rather fight White next. I'd rather fight Pulev because he's higher ranked. Um, who else is higher ranked than Miller? Oh, M Miller's welcome, but I, I want to fight like stiff competition, solid competition, who have got good, uh, good opponents on their record as well. Coming back to this Wilder situation, so you... Coming back to this wilder situation, so you coming back to this wilder situation, so you coming back to this wilder situation, so you put it out there that you've <laughs> you're gonna get this. You're gonna <laughs> Remember, get we this. were speaking about this since 2017. I think, like, speaking mm -hmm. on that wilder situation, I booked this uh, uh, event, this arena, this stadium, look around you, um, for April. <laughs> to fight Wilder is here, you know, it's not hard. Who do you blame for this fight not happening next? Who do you specifically blame for this? Is Both it? of us. Yeah. I'm not going to put point in the finger. Both yeah. of us. I had issues with contracts, he had issues with contracts and time. Remember, remember we've been dealing with this since the Tekka fight, 2017. Yeah. Then I ended up fighting Parker. There was no blame game then. Everyone knew that there wasn't enough time um, because the contract didn't get negotiated. So then I was all right, cool, Parker. Same thing happened again with Povetkin. So that's why I've given him now mm, a, next year. And I said, let's just at least sign a contract this year. So at least next year. Imagine this, we're in January still trying to negotiate. And then we wait another three months and it don't happen. So I'm just trying to... Contract. I'll sign my side. Yeah, so for him to sign it, how long have you given um, him? He's got until, until how long he needs before April 13th. Let's say rewind three months, January. January to kind of get a... February, February 13th, that'll give him a um, three months training camp. So if he can get that signed before then, then we can do like the, the US tour, the UK tour, the European tour. And then, it, you know, it's not kind of affecting your training camp. When, you do, when you've got 13 weeks and you've got to do press conferences, traveling, it's not good for a fighter. Every fighter would know that you need to be focused. So if we can get this locked in now, we can start planning a good five months of promotion and um, Get the interest of the, of the public worldwide. What else did you say? You they claimed make... it was that. They claimed it was a hundred million dollar fight. Yeah. Right. So I said, show me the money. No, I took it seriously. Okay. As soon as he called me out after the Takam fight, I said, remember he was at. Remember before I fought Takam, I was here, and Wilder was commentating, saying, "Man, I need to do this in the USA. This fight was sensational." And then, and then um, he fought Bermain Sevan, and I fought Takam. Then he was like, "Anthony's been dodging me." I was like, whoa! <laughs> I was like, I ain't been dodging no one. So then, because um, I had to fight Pula, it was an IBF mandatory. So then after that, I got on the phone with Eddie. I said, hey, can you call their team and see if this is real? Because I ain't heard no talks of him wanting to fight me. Then he was like, that all that's set the date, don't be late. So when um, we called, we tried to set the date and it didn't happen. And um, now I've, we've got this booked in um, and I'm ready just to crack on, bro.